Hello and welcome once again to Pymol Biomolecules. Today we are going into another tutorial called the Protein Ligand Complex Molecular Dynamics. This time we are focusing on the Windows operating system. I understand that many of you are eager to explore the molecular dynamics with Gromax but lack access to high performance computer or Linux. Perhaps you are hesitant to install Linux due to the limited storage or the fear of disturbing the current Windows setup. So don't worry, in our previous video I have showed you how to install Gromax in the Windows bypassing the need for the Windows subsystem for Linux and also the performance will depend on the specific system configuration and let's get started. Let's begin by obtaining the protein ligand complex. If you have a protein ligand complex from the molecular docking result that will be a good starting point. I will be downloading a specific protein PDB file 3HU8 2 ethoxyphenol in complex with the T4 lysozyme. I will be downloading this specific protein PDB file. You are welcome to download this identical one so that you can follow along me till the end. The reason for selecting this particular PDB is due to the smaller amino acid count. See this contains only one chain and the sequence length of 164 and the ligand you can see down it is the 2 ethoxyphenol. The ligand ID is 261. Okay. It also contains a phosphate ion and some water molecules also. I am going to download this PDB file. So the PDB file is successfully downloaded. So go to the downloads folder and move this PDB file into our working directory. This is the working directory for our project. Then you have to download the force field also <coughs> so go to the macro lab website and scroll down for charmum 36 files for the gromax okay in the website download the charmum 36 july 2022 force field this will be a tgz format okay click on this file and it will start downloading so i have already downloaded it also and scroll down and you need to download the script also cgenff charm2 gmx pi3 nx2.py the dependencies are the python 3.x and the network x 2.3 so click on this file to start downloading so both these files are downloaded and go to the downloads folder and move these two files okay I have copied these two files in our working directory and I am going to extract this force field okay in the same folder. After extracting the force field we get a new folder. Inside this folder we got the force field files okay. Now we no need the force field archive so I am going to delete it and here is the script that we have downloaded. Next we need to split the ligand part and the protein part. So open this in the text editor. In the text editor you can see the starting amino acid is methionine N terminal. And the ending amino acid is a lysine okay the carboxy terminal after the lysine it also contains the phosphate ion okay next to phosphate ion it contains the ligand F, okay so this is the ligand part the ligand id is 261 okay so i am going to copy this and make a new file and paste here okay and i am going to save this I am going to give the name as 2ep.pdb two 2ep two means 2 ethoxyphenol okay and I am going to save it as all files so this is very important to save it as a p dot .pdb file okay then I am going to hit save 
now you can see the 2ep.pdb file is created next we need to clean this pdb cleaning this pdb means we are going to remove this phosphate and the ligand and the water molecules okay so to remove this so click here and remove till the water molecules also remove the connect records and save this file after saving this file now we need to start the gromax so go to the gromax install folder and double click on the gmxrc.bat okay so now we got the command prompt so to check whether the gromax is installed type gmx and hit enter now you can see there are different options relating to the gmx command now we need to move to the our project folder so go to go to our project directory now we are inside our project okay clear the screen now as usual give this command pdb to gmx dash f dash o and give the output file name dash t e r and give enter and it will ask you to select the force field so select one for the charm 36 force field this is from the current directory and select the water model i am going to select one for the tip 3p motor molecule model and it is also from the charm modified tip 3p water model now it will ask you to select the starting terminal okay we have already seen it is the engage and i am going to select the ending terminal also so that's all you have successfully generated a topology from this file and the charm 36 july 2022 force field and the tip 3p water molecules are used so that's all we can see the total charge is 6 okay so when we are adding the ions the 6 ions will be added in the working directory you can see the generation of topology file and the post3.itp file and the processed gro file also So that's all we have successfully generated the topology file for the protein so in the next part we are going to see how to create the ligand topology so thank you for watching